I live on planet Fear, where there are thoughts like storm clouds everywhere I look. Milton's Secret is about uh, a boy uh, in crisis. His uh, family is struggling financially, uh, and also, you know, his parents are, are struggling in their relationship. And because of that stress, they're not really paying a lot of attention to him. Your dad and I love you very much. And sometimes we just get caught up in, in these other things. Being a 12-year-old kid, just a regular 12-year-old kid, and having to manage almost hold the whole world on your shoulders in his life is really difficult. Are we going to lose the house? Can we just go one day without you asking me that? Milton? What's going on in there? I'm good! I'm in bed! I'm... Milton's feeling very overwhelmed. He can't find any happiness. I think it's about finding calm within chaos. Um, I think it's about this middle class kind of neuroses where you have enough to live, but you're petrified of losing what you have. So all you do is work, and it begins to ruin your life. Jane, it's, it's not a crisis, it's a worry. If we have to, we'll, we'll take a loan out against the retirement fund. Everything's gonna be fine. Let's talk about this later. Well, the husband's doing his part, and the wife's doing her part, and the kid, you know, is, is, is just walking his path and, and trying to learn about life. And then all of a sudden, this wonderful individual, the grandfather figure, comes in and uh, just sheds a new light on what a day looks like. And Stuart Howard in this film has lost contact with his daughter Jane. I'm concerned that some of, some of your life choices have been very unconventional lately, Bill, right? Yes, no, I, am right? I doing, seriously doing Zumba? His presence is able to instill them with a peacefulness and a, a joyousness. She and her husband, Bill, and the son. Jane is like, you know, an elastic band that's pulled, that's just about to snap. She's has so much going on inside of her and so much pressure, and I loved the idea that playing somebody who is that explosive and implosive, um, I think to work with Donald is, Donald Sutherland is a huge privilege. You're a grandfather. You are not a 20-year-old man. Honestly, Dad. He's a very good man, Stuart Howard. He was a soldier. Here, yeah, Brutus. For you and me. He gave up war and killing. Taking a life, Milton. Causing a hurt to someone steals a piece of you. I read the script, you know, and uh, it's not normally the kind of picture that I would do, but there was something about the character that captivated me, captured me. I, I loved him. Do you do anything normally, Grandpa? I suck at this. I feel so broken. I want to go home. It was an immensely enjoyable experience. I loved coming to work. Hundred bucks by tomorrow. Or you'll be sorry. Milton is going through a hard time at school with a bully named Carter. Oops. Carter, you're such a jerk. Stay out of this, princess. Carter. What? What's Millie Willie gonna do, huh? And he's trying to find a way to stop the bullying without telling his parents. It's a hard thing to say, but I was bullied back in first grade and through second and third grade too, so. That was a difficult thing to get through. 
It was pretty brutal at school. My clothes weren't fashionable. I didn't really have friends. I was really into drama, so my peers thought it was kind of weird. And I, I didn't have the things that make a kid fit in. So as a result, I, I was pretty isolated for those years. You wanna do something, Millie, really, Willie? Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong, Millie, Willie? I just had to talk to my parents, talking to anyone, really, that is an adult, a guardian. As long as there's someone you can talk to, it just makes you feel so much better. The, the problems you got running around in your head right now, don't worry them to death. Just, just let your heart make sense of them. They're house guests, and they all go eventually. If anything, I would love the film to speak to kids that are being bullied, um, that feel, find themselves isolated, and are, perhaps a film like this will help those kids at least understand that there are alternatives to the isolation and the sadness that comes with being targeted at school. I met Stephen, uh, one of the producers on the project, and. Uh, you know, he told me about the book, Milton's Secret, and then he said Eckhart Tolle was, uh, had participation in the, in the story, and I was like, Psh, I'm in. <laughs> I just love that guy's mind. It's a nice story, you know, and I think the values that Milton's Secret is promoting are, are good. They're simple, they're, they're direct, they're universal, I think and they're necessary for the times that we live in. You never listen. Turn your cell off. Okay. I'm all yours. Talk to me. I'm also uh, you know, a fan of Eckhart Tolle. I'm a reader of his work, and so I was interested to be a part of a project that was uh, gonna get his work out uh, in a different way, in a, you know, through a film, through a narrative film, and through a, uh, the, the eyes of a child. It's like taking spirituality and placing a, a rational common sense to it that is uh, blatantly obvious when it's said to you, but like you, you look at it and you're like, wait a minute, I can't believe I lived my life this whole time without recognizing uh, that aspect of, of human consciousness. That's what Eckhart Tolle does to me. I mean, I'm not in the future now. I'm in the past. I'm right here with you now. I think Grandpa Howard gives him the power of being in the moment. So right now, I'm talking to you and just doing an interview for the EPK, and I'm just not thinking about what will happen after this or what happened before this, I'm here right now.